Good morning. I start every day by taking a deep breath and focusing on my energy and making sure that I'm a positive person. Today's video, day 12, yes, day 12 is upon us, is all about doing yoga in the park with Kaiwa Ganyo. And if you want to win something, pay attention to tomorrow's video. Trust me, you're going to want to. But in the meantime, subscribe like, comment, and otherwise, let's have fun with yoga in the park. Hmm. Oh, hi there. Hello, we meet again. We meet again. Hello. Week two. Got to take this thing off. Drip I'm drip fitting it. I love the drip fit. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> How you feeling? Uh, better than last week, that's for sure. Come on down. Okay, cool. Woo! All right, let's do this. Okay, so I love the high fives. So we did a little, did very basic stuff the other day, and we focus on the lower body. So we're gonna bring it up a little bit. Focus on torso. Okay, so in that position, everything's getting really tight, so we're gonna loosen it up. We do lots of movement. Fantastic. So we're gonna start in the child pose. Okay. Okay. So big toes together, knees apart. Okay. And then hips back towards your feet. Arms forward, forehead to the mat. You're going to hang out here take a few big breaths. For sure. So when you're in your child's pose, you are trying to press your hips continuously back towards your heels. And then just gently reach your fingers forward so you're lengthening out your side body. And once you've hung out here for a little bit, we're going to walk the hands all the way to the right. So you're going to take your hands as far to the right as you can. And then really press your hands back down to the earth. And then pull your left hip back a little bit towards your left heel. Left heel. Yeah, left hip back to left heel. Good. So right now we're working on opening up the left side body. So the area that's sort of under your armpit and into your lat muscles, you're going to focus on sending your breath there. So trying to fill the left side rib cage up with air is where you're going to get a really nice deepening to that stretch. And again, we're not going to stay here all day, but you can stay there for sort of five to ten breaths. Okay. Generally, yeah. you hang out there from here, just to keep it even today. Let's walk your arms now all the way to the left. And then once you get all the way to the left, you're going to press your hands back down, specifically your right hand. Okay. And you're going to pull your right hip back towards your right heel. Yeah. So now we're sending breath into the right side body rib cage. So on your inhale, you're trying to fill that space up with air, allowing that whole side body to stretch. So if you really get into this, you're going to feel the stretch kind of all from the inner, or the, sorry, the inner, the outer arm down through, um, back of shoulder into your lats. You're going to feel all the way down the side body and into your hip as well, which is probably going to end up being your tightest part, I think. I'm not tight this, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. So take your time, come back to your center. And then roll yourself up and have a seat. Spin around. Find the most comfortable way that you can sit. So for some people, that's cross-legged. For some, that's kneeling. We're going to stick the side body. I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit like a yogi. Yeah, exactly. Um, Stay your mind. Take your right hand to the earth. Yeah. Reach your left arm up. So simple. From here, as you exhale, you're going to bring your left arm over towards me. Tilt your whole body. You can put some pressure down on your right elbow or your right hand, whatever supports you best. Now, from this side twist or side bend, send breath into the left side rib cage and lift it up towards the sky. So same idea as that side um, child's pose, but we're going to stretch through your side torso. So in this stretch, bring your left heel or heel or your left hip back towards the earth. Press it down, yeah. Okay. Arm over towards me. All right. This, and then Whoop. lift up the left side rib cage a little bit towards the sky. I think I'm doing it right. Okay, doing cool. Right. As long as you can breathe, we're good. Okay, uh, yeah, kind of. A little bit. Okay, cool. Okay, Relax. Cool. Come on. Okay, cool. So again, we talked about it the other day, but if you do get into a pose, this is a, this is a good example. As people get so bent over into the stretch that they just like can't breathe, but they're they're getting really deep into the stretch. It looks super cool, and I'm for sure stretching my body. You can't breathe. You're not stretching anything. Okay, do we notice? So, doing it this far, it's still doing it right. Okay. okay. 
So let's do that side. Left hand to the earth. Bring your right arm over. So pressing down, whether you're pressing down into your left hand or maybe your left elbow finds the earth, doesn't matter. Press down into whatever's touching the ground and then lift the side of your right rib cage towards the sky. Yeah, press your right hip back down towards the earth. And take some big breaths and try to fill up the whole right side of your torso. This one of my favorite ones. I could stay here all day. Okay, yeah. I think it's great. So we'll just stay here all day. Okay, okay, good. Come on out of there. Give a little shake. Look at all the wildlife going on. I'm just like squirrels and ducks and all sorts yeah. of stuff around here. Some tourists, you know. God, there are all sorts of wild animals around. Um, okay. We're going to get back into our low lunge. Okay. And uh, this would be added on to what we did the other day. Okay. So let's get right leg forward. Why would we start with the right leg? So again, um, remembering what we did the other day. So rooting down through this foot and this shin. Which yeah. Is this foot. Tall torso. We're going to just push the left hip a little forward to pull the right hip back. It's going to kind of neutralize to our hip. It's also going to start to open our left hip. Awesome. Bring both arms back. We're going to cactus the arms. You're going to bring elbows down, palms are open, creating a cactus or goalpost standing up. Pull the elbows down, open up through the chest and shoulders. Pull your arms like half an inch back. Continue to squeeze your left bum cheek to press Ooh. the left hip forward. Yeah, so right now we're stretching the left hip flexor. We're also stretching through the shoulders, the chest, a little bit into the biceps even. Spread out through the fingers. Good. Release. Take your left hand to the earth beside your right foot. Good. From here, take your right arm to the sky and twist your torso to look up towards your right hand. So it's getting a little bit of a twist into that same low lunge, just adding to it. So from this position, to get a little better stretch, pull your right hip a little bit back. And then try to lengthen your spine, so take the front of your head outward. And then make sure you're breathing. Breathing is key here. Breathing is so important here. <laughs> so important. Okay, relax out of here. Come back through your low lunge and just change legs. Okay. Got to keep it even. Yeah, I like it. feel different on this side. Hey, it bounces there. a little bit off. Do you feel like this is your harder side? No, I find this is my easier side. This is my bad side. Okay, so let's root down through your left foot. Gently pull your right hip forward. Sure, we're feeling neutral, square to the top of our mat, and then our right arm's gonna come out. Actually, our left arm's gonna come with it. Yeah, are we? We're, yeah, we're <sighs> yeah, this thing. What's going? I remember this. Yeah, it's like raise the roof. You know? Oh, you could do that. So right hip pulls forward, squeeze right bum cheek. Oh yeah, feel that burn. Open the chest, pull the hands back a little bit, drop the elbows a little bit, open chest, shoulders. And then if you really want to get in, you can just very gently, very, very, very gently, as if your sternum had a string to the sky, lift it up and take your gaze up. I don't know if I can do that. Okay, you don't have to. A little extra bonus. Oh, wow. Okay. So releasing a little bit, right hand to the earth. We're going to okay. get that revolve. Yes. So press your right arm down, left arm to the sky. Cool. Now from here, pull your left hip back a little, half an inch even. Good. But make sure you're breathing. I'm kind of breathing. I'm trying to breathe. I'm trying not to fall over. <laughs> you relax. Bring both hands down to the earth. Take your feet back. Take a bit of a breather. And then we're going to stand. We're going to stick to the side torso. Okay. So come to the well, Standing. The okay. Cool. That's a very that's drilled into my brain from teaching yoga class. You stand wherever you want. Okay, so feet can be hip width distance apart or okay. right together, whatever you feel like gives you the best balance. You're gonna reach your arms up. Now take your right hand and grab your left wrist. Right, yeah, 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 good. Now extend your arms tall, try to make yourself even two inches taller. Arms are reaching way up. Now as you exhale, take your arms to the right and gently press your hips a little bit to the left. We're creating like a crescent moon shape with our left side body. So press your feet down and think about lifting your arms and up out of your torso. Keep pressing your hips to the left, arms towards the right, find space to breathe. How's that feel? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so 
take every one more breath. Good, come back through, relax your arms, your shoulders will shake. Okay, all right. Woo! Side. All right. So arms up. Arms up. Left hand. Right, you got it. Come oh, I'm back. on it. Fast corner. So hips are pressing to the left. Right. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Shake it out. I think that's enough for today. Yeah, that was great. Yeah? I'm a little, oh. Lose some boost. So next time I see you, we're going to put this together, involve a little bit of breath work, and actually look at creating a bit of a yoga flow. You mean I'm actually going to breathe properly? Can't wait. Cool. I'll see you next week.